And now the National Union of Road Transport Workers have called on the Inspector General of Police and DG of DSS to prevail on the unconstitutional and illegal occupation of its national secretariat in Abuja. The National President Ibi Kunle Tajuddin Barua made the call at a press briefing in Abuja yesterday. Victoria Agbi has more in this report. According to the National President, the former National President of the Union and former Vice President and all the former members of the Union from Lagos State who opted out of the Union to form Parks and Garages Management Committee and after the unlawful invasion of the National Secretariat on 27th of August 2023 occupied the Secretariat with aid of armed talks. It went further interesting you to know that the former national president of this union, Elijah Najim Sman Yassi, has, has summoned a meeting of all the state council of the union here in Abuja on the 12th, on the, on the 12th of September 2023 with a view of casually them to be abandoned the mandate duly given to me and my colleagues during the last special SONA delegated conference on the union. The president, Tajuddin Barua, explained that members of the union that are aggrieved with the outcome of the election ought to seek redress through democratic means. I want to remind the, 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 the DC, DC uh, IG monitoring. When he took the phone and called Najim that day, I said, you are calling Najim. Najim is one causing problem in the union because they want to leave the seat. He ran the union for almost, uh, almost nine years, eight months, and he believed that the union, he wants to leave the union. And he does have the right, even to choose to set any committee that to cancel the union, that cancel the election. The election, we have done the election, election of state, and nobody fear him, and we have not fear him. All our elected members, we are intact. And nobody can change that world. Anybody who believed that what we did, this the elect, the sonar delegate we did on 24 May is not constitutional, we should go to court. Anybody who believe that we feel that the one that we did in a, a, a national ritual in Nasarawa on 23 is not okay, it should go to court. Than to go to than to print to part the same from Lagos State and occupy the equator to cause problems in that place, we will not agree for that. Enough is enough, enough, enough. That's why we reported to the authority, securities, and which we agree what we say, which is say we sign agreement, they refuse to sign because maybe they have passed somewhere, or have, maybe they are above the law. And we are, we believe that nobody above God in Nigeria. Also, the Assistant General Secretary Abdul Kadri Isa shares lies on the happenings within the union and how it has imparted the activities of the administration. Our current president has try to make sure that uh, the Togri, he has made the union a Togri free union. And that is why he has restrained our members not to counter attack. I will follow due process by reporting to the relevant agencies so that the uh, those who are intruders can be removed without shedding any blood. But unfortunately, uh, we are in the second or third week now. We are expecting both the police, the uh, DSS, and more especially the uh, police command will do the needful. But up to now, nothing had happened. Our fear is our members across the country are putting pressure on us. And in fact, if nothing happened between today and tomorrow, maybe we may lose control and anything can happen. And therefore calling to the Inspector General of Police, IG, to do the needful. The outcome of the Special Zone and Delegate Conference and subsequent inauguration and swearing-in at the 10th Quadrennial National Delegates, which took place 
on the 22nd of August 2023, Nashville State has become a tug of war for both the former national president and elected president as the newly inaugurated president has sworn to defend its mandate henceforth. In Abuja, Victoria Agbi, reporting for Cotton TV News. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited has revealed that the 650,000 barrels per day Dangote refinery is yet to begin production after August commencement date, which was earlier announced by the president of Dangote Group, Aliko Dangote.